Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at replica sets. So, a replica set is a way to maintain a desired amount of redundant pods, replicas, to provide a guarantee of availability. So, here's a replica set, and inside of it, we have multiple pods, or you could say replica pods. One could be the main pod, uh, just who knows, right? Because when you distribute traffic to them, like with a service, it's just random where it goes. So they're basically all replica pods. Here is the manifest file. Notice that it's called a replica set and it looks just like a deployment. You specify the replicas, you're specifying the containers, okay? Um, the pod field metadata owner references determines the link from a pod to a replica set. Uh, so that we would have to observe that on the pod itself. So if we went using the kubectl and we said kubectl describe pod in the pod name, we would see that metadata there and that's how we would know that it's linked to that replica set. It is not recommended to directly create replica sets. So you can, but instead a deployment can create and manage replica sets for you. The idea here is that if you launch a replica set and then you delete it, it's gone. Now, if you delete a replica set, I, I believe that a deployment will say, hey, your replica set's gone. It will spin up another one, okay? Same thing, like if you have a replica set and you have three pods in it, you delete your pods, then your pods might reappear, okay? So horizontal pod autoscaler can be used to autoscale replica sets. Uh, and we'll talk about that when we get to HPA, okay?